If you care about how your life unfolds, then you want a powerful relationship with your emotions. Because even in moments where we're not aware of it, our emotions are our primary motivational force. So I, you know, I've been watching with great curiosity the rise of interest in stoicism over the past five years. And it's really interesting to me slash amusing because why is stoicism so popular? It's popular because it feels good. It's an emotional experience to feel like your emotions aren't controlling you. But at its core, it is still an emotional, you know, emotionally driven interest or desire to, you know, be able to observe your emotions without being controlled by them. So even people who are identifying as being more rational or stoic are really just embracing a pleasurable emotional experience. Emotions are just at the heart of all the choices we make and the actions we take, making it so fundamental to quality of life and and thriving. I think it becomes quite apparent as well if we're faced with 35,000 choices a day and 98% of them are in default mode. Well, there's a lot going on there that is probably covering up issues that would be getting us to where we need to go if we could focus in on default mode or patterns that are keeping us in that same place. Exactly. The source of most psychological suffering that we're finding now in the research, the research is going beyond symptoms and really looking at what causes psychological suffering is the inability to tolerate and allow uncomfortable emotional experiences. And this leads to all kinds of suffering. I mean, we see this in people who struggle with drug and alcohol abuse or addiction. We see it in relationship patterns that are unhelpful. Anytime we're moving away from something that we don't want to experience, it's possible we're also blocking ourselves from connecting to what really matters. 